Hi, my name is Nigel D. Salmon. In this video, I will be looking into the tragic death of Jacob Miller, Jamaican recording artist and lead vocalist in the band In a Circle. Jacob Miller was also an actor. In 1980, the world lost him in a tragic car accident. In this video, I will be looking at his death registration form to see the exact causes of his death. Welcome to Jamaican Chapter. This is the death registration form for Jacob Miller. I will be looking through this death registration form to reveal his cause or causes of death. As we all know, a death registration form, it lists the causes of death or the cause of death and personal information about the individual who had died. We will start with Jacob Miller's death registration form and we'll begin at the top. So at the top it says death registration form death in the district of halfway tree Parish, St. Andrew. We will, we will begin with the left side of the form. The left side of the form. So, oh, starting with the left, in the first box, it says, Place of Death, Hope Road, St. Andrew. Yes, on Sunday, March 23, 1980, Jacob Miller was driving along Hope Road in Kingston. Um, there were two boys in the car with him. And at some point, the boys' activities distracted J Jacob Miller and the car crashed. Jacob Miller and one of the boys eventually died. Um, Jacob Miller's funeral was held at the National Arena in Kingston with a huge crowd of fans, politicians, and celebrities. His body was later buried at Dovecot Memorial Park, St. Catherine. Um okay, so we we move into the the right side of the farm, and on the right side of the farm at the top it says usual residence of deceased. Um this is where they would put the last residential address of the individual who died. I notice here on Jacob Miller's death registration form that the address for his last address was placed and then it was crossed out. So I'm not sure if the information was wrong while they why they crossed it out well i mean what 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 else could be the reason it would have been useful here to know where he was living um prior to to death i i know jacob miller he he was touring with the with his with the band that he was part of and but did he have a fixed address? 
Mm, I'm not sure, but whatever the case is, they wrote an they wrote an address here, and then they cross it out. So, the usual residence of Jacob Miller before his death, we are not sure on this form, because it was crossed out. All right, let's continue. So as I say, we are we are doing this the left side of the form first. Studying the left side of the form. And going down, we have the, the second box on the left side. It says, Particulars of Deceased. This is where they would put it, the, his pers personal information. So let's check it out. It says, Date of Death, 23rd. March 1980 In other words March 23 1980 So Jacob Miller died on March 23 1980 Going down it says full name Jacob Miller Continue on, it says sex, male. Yeah, we all know he was a male. Then you have condition. And the person filling out the form puts unknown. Now, usually what goes at condition is that they either put, for a male, they either put bachelor married or widower for a female they either put um single married or widow but here they the person wrote unknown he was a celebrity he was a recording artist how could they not know whether he was single, married, or a widower? Well, Jacob Miller was single. Yes, he was a father, but he was single. He, was, he did not get married. But the person filling out the form puts unknown. Unknown. You don't know whether he's single, he's married, or he's a widower. Well, this person probably did not listen to music or keep up with um, news in the music industry because everybody knew Jacob Miller was single. Let's continue on. It says age 26. Um, there seem to be um different utterance as to what his age is um when he died the gleaner reported his age as 25 if you check on wikipedia online they put his age as 27 and here on his death registration form his age is 26 so the question is who is right all right goes down going down it says occupation or calling and the person puts singer and that is correct just jacob miller's occupation was singer most people would say recording artist so yes he was a singer going down you have birth place and that field is empty so again you can see that the person filling out the form again that person was not being provided with information on Jacob Miller's personal life. 
nothing about his birthplace, not even the parish, was mentioned there. It's just empty. Well, let me tell you about his birthplace. Jacob Miller was born in the community of New Green in the parish of Manchester, Jamaica on May 4, 1952. He lived in the community of New Green until he was eight years old. At eight years old, he moved to Kingston. He went to Kingston to live. And it was in Kingston that Jacob Miller found success as a recording artist. All right, let's move over now to the right side of the farm where we will see the cause of death for Jacob Miller. So the farm says, cause of death, cerebral concussion plus hemorrhage as well as broken neck and no one is criminally responsible mm. let me let me take that those words off the form and put it on the screen let's put it on the screen so here it is here it is on the screen this is what is written in his cause of death jacob miller died from cerebral concussion, meaning a blow to the front of his head. Hemorrhage, which means blood loss, as well as a broken neck. And remember the form says, no one is criminally responsible. Meaning that nobody's going to be charged for his death. It was just plainly an accident. In layman terms, you could say Jacob Miller died from a blow to the front of his head blood loss as well as a broken neck that's very terrible and as i say he did not die on the spot he there was some controversy as to how he actually ended up dead um in one rep in one report it says that he was brought to a hospital, but the staff at that hospital was on a go slow, meaning they were protesting by working slow. And because of that, he had to be taken to another hospital where he died. There is another report that uh, the policeman responsible for bringing Jacob Miller to hospital from the crash scene, the policeman actually stopped at a bar to have a drink. Well, whatever the case is, he is dead. And we can simply say he died from a blow to the front of the head blood loss and a broken neck thanks for watching and remember to subscribe like or comment keep up with this channel for more interesting videos like this